Welcome everyone. We are so excited to have you here for our Camp In Gala and Auction supporting Hamlin Robinson School. It is so exciting that there are 140 uh, households all logged in, which means many, many more of us all join together. My name is Ian Lindsay and it is my great privilege and pleasure to get to be the MC and auctioneer tonight. And of course, tonight we are gathering as a community to have fun and also to raise critical funds to support Hamlin Robinson. It does take generous and loyal partners to help strengthen the impact of Hamlin Robinson's school and to ensure that our students are equipped with academic skills and confidence and that our teachers have the resources needed to support student learning. And it is you that makes that possible. Your gifts tonight help keep the mission and program of Hamlin Robinson School strong and ensure our ongoing sustainability. So welcome everyone. We are so excited to have you. And we know that you, many of you are camping in uh, with us this evening and that you probably have some pretty amazing camp in sites. So we would love if you would share your camp in sites tonight. If you could take a selfie of whatever camp in location you've got, maybe you all have matching flannels. I know that there is at least one family with matching hats to keep the rain off from the outside inside. Uh, take a photo um, and I can see, oh, you guys look great. Yes, um, there are, you can see some people are showing their spirit by holding up um, some of the, the, fun, the, the mugs are in play and the people are on their computers with masks. I love it. If you could put the hashtag CampHRS on your photos on Instagram or on Twitter, or if you paste the, uh, post those photos to our Facebook page, we will be able to see them throughout our Camp In tonight. So take a, take a, a photo, put hashtag Camp HRS and share it with us um, because we'd really love to, um, to see those. And I hope that many of you are also enjoying the Camp In Experience dinner from Gourmando. Maybe you have the campfire chili or the grilled cheese or the barbecue chicken or the Wagyu, that's a very fancy campsite you have. Um, and you might have one of our fun boxes, the Foodie or the Stargazer or the Trail Treader. Uh, if you have one of those fun boxes, now is a good time to get it out because there are a lot of really great things. I can see that people are enjoying them. I'm so glad you love the mug. I also am enjoying uh, this lovely mug. Mm because it really keeps it all warm. Mine does not, mine just has coffee, okay? Just in case anybody's curious. However, if you are a camper of a certain uh, appropriate age, you might want to look at this little insert. It is the cocktails around the campfire. It's okay, uh, if it's okay, to put cocktails in this cup, if that makes you feel good. Mm. But the coffee is also good at this campsite. So um, please uh, continue to enjoy all of the delicious things. And of course, we are gathering in this new and unique and interesting way here um, in YouTube Live. And you can see that many people are joining us in the chat. Um, they're talking to each other and saying that they miss each other. And I'm so glad it's the perfect size, Charlotte. I won't ask for what. Uh, but we would love to have all of you come and join us in the chat. If, uh, if you're able, and it is very easy to do so, all you have to do is create a free YouTube account and YouTube calls their free accounts channels. So create a free YouTube account called a channel. You can see that by clicking right here on the sign in, that will lead you to create a YouTube account. You will then be able to join us in the chat and we're gonna have games and prizes and surprises, the opportunity to cheer each other on throughout the evening. So we really would love for you to come and join us in the chat. As Oliver says, it's a party right over here in the chat, that is so true. Um, and uh, if at any point you'd like to show us your party spirit, um, a great way to do that is by using the emojis that are down at the bottom of the chat bar. You can see where that little face is. If you click on that, you'll be able to use the emojis and um, the, uh, the, the emojis are how you can show your support um, in so many uh, different ways, just like that. And here's a power user move. If you type the colon 
and then type a word, it will pull up the emojis that are, um, that are named by those words. So you can find emojis very quickly. So for example, if you type colon and the word clap, Becky is demonstrating perfectly, you will find the clapping emoji just like this, which you may want at uh, points throughout this evening. One other piece of campsite, um, uh, we'll say ground, not ground rules, just support. If you need help at your camp insight at any point this evening, we have our technical support rangers ready to assist you. And I can see many of you are figuring this out very, very well. Um, the, <laughs> the clapping is happening great. If you need help with YouTube Live or with our auction software at any point, send an email to auction at hamlinrobinson.org and our technical support camp rangers will respond to you with uh, the information that you need. They can help you out. Uh, so auctions at hamlinrobinson.org and you guys are doing very, very well. I'm really impressed. Um, this is the moment where you want to find the drum roll emoji. If you can find the drum roll emoji, we need a virtual drum roll right now because it is time to find the winner of our golden raffle. Our golden raffle winner is about to be drawn. So find those drums. Yes, you're finding it, Phil and Sarah and um, Bahia. Yes, exactly. All the drums. Here we go. Drum roll, please. So here is how this is going to work. Um, for everyone who purchased a golden raffle ticket, and thank you so much, uh, we put your tickets on a spreadsheet and those spreadsheets correspond to numbers. I have these numbers uh, in the studio and I am gonna drop them into this uh, glass bucket. These are all the numbers all the way up. And now I am going to find the winner of our golden raffle. And of course, this is the person who gets to pick any live auction item. Oh, we're taking that one because one popped out. Okay, that's the one we're finding. We have to find it. I actually saw which number it was and it's right here. It is the number eight. Number eight, who is on line number eight? It is, we're gonna find out. It is the person who has this number, 2454131. You are the winner of our golden raffle. Congratulations, nicely, nicely done. Um, and uh, we will be finding out what that person is selecting from the live auction in just a moment. However, while uh, we are figuring that out, we would love for you, um, oh, wait, I know who it is. It's Brent and Sarah. Brent and Sarah are picking the road trip of a lifetime. Congratulations, Brent and Sarah. Uh, you have won the Golden Raffle. Thank you, thank you everyone for participating in our Golden Raffle and congrats. Uh, so the uh, road trip of a lifetime is going as our Golden Raffle ticking, ticket item, so it will be disappearing magically from your bidding um, uh, device here in just a moment. Uh, so don't be, don't be nervous. Now, if you can find those clapping emojis uh, one more time, because we have a group of incredible business and community sponsors without whom we could not be here. Our uh, supporters and sponsors tonight, please give them a huge round of applause to Inslee Best and to Peace Van Rentals, and to Copper Consulting and Harvest Beat and Seattle Baby Feeding. So many applauses are happening to our sponsors. We are so, so grateful to all of you. And also to our family sponsors, to the Austin family and the Broas family and the Butson family and Dresner and Feeney and Hadeen and Jarvis and Moyer and Nichols and Peterson and Roberts and Stoff and Taggart and Tigus and Wilkins and Williams and Worthington families. We are so grateful um, and yes, everyone is applauding you. Uh, we are so grateful to sponsors. Thank you so much. Um, we really, really appreciate it. Now, we also know that at your Camp Insights tonight, there are, uh, there are quite likely some current HRS Eagles. Eagles. If you are a current student at Hamlin Robinson, I'd love to speak with you for just a moment. And if you are a sibling of a current student, I'd love to speak with you for just a moment because you may have been given this earlier. This is the Camper's Activity Book. And if you have not been given it, and there is a box at your house, ask to be given it. Uh, once you receive your Camper's Activity Book, you can take the silver ring off the corner. Uh, you can see, just undo the silver ring, take it off, because you want 
this page. You want the page that says camp because we are going to play a camp bingo game. Uh, throughout the, the rest of our evening, we are going to be playing Camp Bingo. There will be numbers arriving at various locations throughout Eaglets. I like it. Okay, baby Eaglets are, are welcome as well. So this is the, the card that you want to have. And we suggest that you find some Legos or some coins, or maybe you've got some little pebbles that you can place on your Camp Bingo card game as we play, or you can use a pen or a marker, uh, but if you find something small that you can place, that will work very well. Um, and whenever you see numbers that look like this, here is a number that we're gonna show you. Um, this is the, um, what the, the camp numbers look like. This is your first Camp Bingo game number. This is the C, two number. So anyone who has C2, you can mark it now. Um, there will be more coming. And if you, if you uh, get a bingo, if you have four in a row, please put the word bingo into the chat. And the first person that does will win this book, a The Camping Trip by Jennifer K. Mann. We have a signed copy from Jennifer K. Mann. And we really want to thank um, Jennifer K. Mann for donating uh, to our event tonight. Thank you so much. Okay, so Camp uh, Eagles and siblings, uh, just keep watching for those numbers. And I'm actually going to send you another one right now. Are you ready? One more number. Here it is for the Camp Bingo game. All right, there it is. Mark that one on your bingo card. Um, since we are camping, I do want to point out that it is also very important to have s'mores. And the next card has to do with very many different ways to make s'mores. Um, some of you may have thought there was only one way. That's not true. There are many ways. Um, please uh, check out your favorite way to make a s'more because in, in, uh, in many ways, Hamlin Robinson's school is like a s'more. And I know right now you're thinking, now, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. But here is a video featuring Hamlin Robinson students to tell you a little bit about what we mean. S'mores is a camping essential. When you make a s'more, it's more than making any old dessert. They have crunchy, sweet, and a little chocolatey. We are gonna try and show you how to make a s'more to hammer ramen in a way. First, we start with the bomb graham cracker, the foundation of the s'more. At HRS, our foundation is our campus. Home to HRS since June 2015, our campus was designed specifically for HRS students. We can't forget about the marshmallow. The marshmallow is the sweet and warm part of the s'more, just like the staff and teachers of HRS. Teachers here are caring, funny, and have lots of patience, just like when you roast a marshmallow. Now for my favorite part, chocolate. You can use any type of chocolate bar and place it right on top of the marshmallow. Just like chocolate, our classes at HRS are rich, comprehensive, and fun. Now it's out of the HRS special touch. With a drizzle of extracurriculars, a sprinkle of Slingerland, and a dash of enrichment, HRS really ignites this s'more. Thank you to all our students who helped build this delicious s'more. We're looking at all of those ingredients and we're getting ready to top it off, but we're not quite ready yet. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Not quite yet, so stay around because we will be completing that s'more. And we really want to thank Miss Press who helped make this incredible video. And Miss Press, I'll say, people really, really appreciate your video. Some people might have been crying, but um, in the best possible way. Um, tonight, we are, of course, all camping in. And I know you're all camping in in lots of different places. And here, we are camping in in this, you know, basic place. 
but we thought it would be fun uh, if you could help us go on a little bit of a camping adventure. So uh, maybe eagles, maybe uh, eagle siblings, or anyone, if you could help us choose our camping adventure, we would be most grateful. Here is what we're going to do. We either want to go to the beach or the mountains, and we'd love for you to tell us in the chat whether we should go to the beach or the mountains for our next camping adventure. Uh, and if anybody has a suggestion, I see, okay, mountains, I'm seeing mountains. Is any, a couple beach, oh, but a lot of mountains. Okay, beach, beach, mountain, oh, mountains. Okay, I think mountains. I think mountains has it, which means I need to do this and uh, oh, wow. Okay, people are telling us, oh, but, oh, we're going to the mountains. Woo, it's a little chilly here in the mountains, although it's beautiful. I can tell you, I can see out over uh, all the way across to Seattle and Bellevue, and I can see over to the Olympic Peninsula. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, good. Um, thank you so much for helping us uh, to get to the mountains. Um, I will also tell you that it, oh, Hawaii. Okay, that wasn't an option, but thank you, Will. Um, the, I will also tell you that um, our auction is coming up in just a moment, very, very soon. And I want to just remind everyone that the auction catalog came hopefully by mail to you. This is the auction catalog and it does show all of our live auction items. Just a reminder that item number seven was selected as our golden raffle winning item. Um, please um, use the catalog as we find the live auction. And I also would love to suggest that you have a second device for bidding in the live auction. We know you're watching on a computer or a laptop or maybe one of those big fancy uh, smart screens, but if you use perhaps your phone or a tablet or a second device, it can make bidding in our auction software very easy. And all you would like to do is make sure you are logged in to Greater Giving. And the link for Greater Giving is just below our live stream if you're looking for it. Uh, and once you're logged in, you're gonna to want to click on Get Started. That will then prompt you to put in your payment information and other identifying information. Then you will be able to bid on items in our silent and live auction and you will have the opportunity to make a fund to need donation a little bit later this evening. Once you find the live auction items, which will be coming up soon, you will see that you can, you can either press the blue bid button, that will allow you to bid at the next increment, or you can click on the green bid more button, which will allow you to set a maximum bid. If you place a maximum bid, then the computer will bid for you against other bidders as they try to take the item that you are hoping will be yours. So I do highly recommend using the max bid feature because the live auction will be happening um, very, very soon and very, very quickly. Now, the live auction will also be happening in a slightly different way because we will be selling the live auction items in groups. Uh, our groups of live auction items um, will be um, will uh, close simultaneously. So be ready to, to bid on the items that you are interested in um, as they will be happening in groups. Before I show you the groups of live auction items, there's one other thing I want to point out. And we already saw in some of our um, images that people already have these. But tonight, we have some very special glassy babies that are available just for Hamlin Robinson School. And there are a few remaining. So if you would like a glassy baby, they are inside Greater Giving. Make sure you find one right now uh, because there are only a few left. And then I do also want to remind everyone, if you need technical support at any point, our tech support camp rangers are standing by. Reach out via email, auction at hamlinrobinson.org, and they will respond and can assist you with bidding or with our YouTube Live. Um, anything that you need, reach out to the rangers. They will help you. Let me tell you about our five live auction groups. And again, each group will close simultaneously, so the items in that group will close at the same time. Group number one includes the complete backyard campout, the level seven art project, and the gadget guru. All three of those are in group number one. Group number two includes who wants to be a millionaire, uh, many of us. Level one, two art project, 
The Crystal and Rainier summertime, or Summer Adventure and the Road Trip of a Lifetime. Then uh, group number three will be the Whidbey Island Cabin Getaway, the Cozy Up by the Fire, the Level 3 Art Project, and the Head of School for a Day. Group number four, our fourth group of live auction items, uh, will have... Oh, I'm sorry, right, the road trip is no longer available, right? Okay, that's, I'm sorry, I said it, but it's not true, I, I, that one was selected. Okay, group number four was the Ultimate Tailgate, the Level 4 Art Project, and the Level 6 Art Project. The, um, the Off the Grid is no longer available, that's the one that was selected. Do I have that? No. That's not the one. Off the grid is selected. Oh goodness. Okay, it's number seven. Everybody knows. Number seven was picked. Group number five was is the Western Weekend at the Ranch, a day on Lake Union, the Level 5 Art Project, and our National Parks Pioneer. Um, okay, Off the Grid is available. Yes, okay. It's in group number two that number seven is not available. That needs to be made abundantly clear. Group, it's group number two, number seven. The road trip. Uh, the road trip. That's the one. Okay, so uh, make sure you are bidding on any items you are hoping will be yours because the live auction is coming very soon. However, before it does, I have the great privilege of introducing three people that I know you really don't need to be introduced to because they are our amazing heads of school. Our head of school, Mr. Stacy Turner, our head of middle school, Mr. Josh Phillips, and the head of our lower school, Ms. Jessica Ruger. And we did ask them some camping questions, whether they preferred coffee or uh, tents or RVs. And I'll just tell you that Mr. Turner said he would like coffee in the morning and tea at night, and that he would be happy to go uh, camping in a tent as long as he can stand up. So he'd like a big tent. That sounds good. Mr. Phillips says coffee for sure. A tent is great, but he'd prefer to have it off the grid. Mr. Phillips, it's going to be hard to participate in our virtual event from off the grid, but we hope you get there. And Ms. Ruger said coffee and a tent. Basic. So it is my great pleasure to welcome our head of school, Mr. Stacy Turner. Mr. Turner, welcome. Hello. Welcome, everybody. My name is Stacy Turner. And Welcome to Camp In. This is the 2021 Hamlin Robinson School Auction and Gala. We are really excited about tonight. This is our opportunity to come together as a community, have some fun around our campfires, and bid on some phenomenal items, all in support of Hamlin Robinson School and our amazing students. Thanks, Stacy. It is so great to be here tonight. On behalf of all HRS faculty and staff, we would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of you for helping to make our program synonymous with what we know it to be exceptional. We would like to extend a thank you to all of the generous individuals and businesses who contributed items and sponsorships and know that we are honored to be recipients of your support. That's right. Thanks, Jessica. Our deepest thanks to everyone here tonight for embracing this unique auction experience and to our advancement team for their efforts to ensure an engaging, fun virtual event and to our many sponsors and donors without whom tonight wouldn't be possible. We especially want to thank everyone who made it possible for our faculty and staff to join us tonight. Thank you, Josh, and thank you, everybody. And remember, when you raise your paddle tonight, you are showing your support for our students, for our mission, for our program, and for the future of Hamlin Robinson School. So don't be shy. Bid high, bid often. We need you, and we need your support tonight. Have fun this evening. Ian, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Turner. Um, yes, bidding high and bidding often is definitely a great plan. And I will say that the first round of live auction items is coming very, very soon. So the complete backyard campout, the level seven art project, and the gadget guru um, will all be happening very soon. Um, but before we get there, um, we have the wonderful opportunity because the level seven class created a piece of art where some of the students were in the classroom, some of them were at home on screen and they were all collaborating, collaborating together. 
and they created a video to show us how they put this piece of art together. So please check out how Level 7 made this amazing piece of art. Thank you so much to Level 7, and thank you so much to Miss McKissick for um, helping the Level 7 students make that incredible piece of art. Uh, it's, inc wow. Um, and, of course, as you know, it is available in our first round of live auction items. Um, now, before we go on to our first round, uh, we do have to show just a couple more important numbers. So, if you are an eagle, or a sibling. These are for you. I just want to make sure that you don't miss them. These are very important. Okay, you have them. Good. Wonderful. Okay, we are going to go on to our first round of live auction items. This is your moment. If you are hoping that the complete backyard campout will be yours, or the level 7 art project, or the gadget guru, all three of these are going to close simultaneously in two minutes. You have two minutes to bid right now, and I can see that Simon is very interested in the Complete Backyard Project, and Timothy, you just jumped in on that Level 7 Art Project, and looks like Cindy wants the Gadget Guru. Eric, you're gonna have to come back. Remember, if you use your max bid option, then you can have the computer bid for you against other people. Now, you only have about a minute and 45 seconds to go. Simon, you're doing very well on the Complete Backyard Package. This is your opportunity to make a bid, and then you've got the Level 7 Art Project is going to Timothy. Catherine, if you'd like to make another bid, now's your chance. Cindy, you're sitting pretty on that gadget guru. If anybody else wants to make another bid, you have one minute and 30 seconds to go. Here is your chance to make a bid on items one, two, and three. Yes, Elizabeth, we agree. Great going, everyone. Simon, you're in the lead uh, on that first item, the complete backyard um, package, and you're doing very, very well. You've only got about a minute left. Timothy, nicely done on the Level 7 Art Project, and now it looks like Cindy. Whoa! Paul tried to jump in on the Gadget Guru, but Cindy went back again for another bid. Paul, if you'd like, oh, now Paul's got another bid. Sorry, Cindy. Paul and Cindy are going head to head on that Gadget Guru. And now you've only got about 45 seconds remaining. This is your final opportunity to make a bid in one, two, and three. Linda, whoa, Linda's on the, the complete backyard camp at Sam, Simon, now's your chance. Linda's just outbid you. And the level seven art project is going to Timothy. Nicely done. You've got about 20 seconds to go. Cindy has the Gadget Guru. Paul, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to come back for one more bid. And now, Timothy, you're doing great on the Level 7 Art Project. You've got 15 seconds to go. Final chance. Daniel jumps in on the Complete Backyard Campground. Camp out. Linda, you've got another chance because there's 10 seconds remaining if you would like to make one last bid on any of our first three live auction items. And I can see, whoa, Timothy just turned on his auto bid. Matthew, if you wanna find the top of Timothy's auto bids, you've gotta keep bidding until you find the top. Whoa, it looks like Timothy 
Timothy's doing well. Now you've got nine. You've got eight. You've got seven seconds to go. Daniel, you're in the lead on the complete backyard package. And the, seven, the level 7R project is still going to Timothy with Autobid turned on. And Cindy is still in the lead on the Gadget Guru. You've got five seconds to go. You've got four. You've got three. Last chance to make one final bid. Two. One. And sold! Congratulations. <laughs> nicely, nicely done. Uh, and it looks like at the very last moment, Daniel, congratulations on the complete backyard camp uh, out. The Level 7 Art Project, Timothy, thank you. And Cindy on the Gadget Guru, nicely, nicely done. Uh, that is very nice bidding. Now, coming up next will be our second round of live auction items. And now you see sort of how it works. So using that max bid feature will help you as things start happening very, very fast. Group number two includes uh, the who wants to be a millionaire. And I will say that if you were to win all of these scratch tickets, you would potentially win $4.9 million. So if you do win $4.9 million, um, Hamlin Robinson School would be happy with a donation of just half of that amount or any other percentage that feels right to you. Um, the Level 1-2 Art Project, the Crystal and Rainier Summer Adventure is coming up and the road trip of a lifetime is not coming up. I'm very sorry, but the road trip of a lifetime was selected again as the golden raffle winning item. So group number two will have three items that will happen simultaneously. Before we do that, we would like to change our location because even though it was cold, after doing that live auction, I'm feeling quite warm. And so uh, we were hoping you could help us choose our next camping adventure. Could you sh tell us if we should next move our campsite to an ice cave or a swamp? Would we, should we go to an ice cave or a swamp? Tell us, <laughs> I love, Charlotte says beach. I know, Antarctica. Okay, ice cave or swamp. I say Antarctica would be an ice cave. That sounds about right. Um, okay, and oh, so many people. I, I think ice cave has it. Okay, then that means I'm doing this and I'm doing this and Oh, we're in the ice cave. Okay, here, and I can see very carefully because of my headlamp that there are no Yetis in this ice cave. Fortunately, we're safe. However, I am gonna turn this off because I don't want to blind you at home in your own um, camp in sight. Uh, but thank you for sending us to this lovely ice cave. It's quite nice in here. Um, thank you so much. And now it is time for the second round of live auction items. Are you ready? I hope you are because people um, who want to be a millionaire um, are, are bidding very, very nicely. And the level one, two art project is going well. And the crystal and Rainier summer um, uh, adventure is also happening right now. So these three items are going to be closing in two minutes. Are you ready? And it looks like Andrea would really like to be lucky for life and be a millionaire. Andrea and Mr. Phillips are bidding toe to toe. You only have about a minute 45. And now it looks like the level one, two art project is going to Kathleen. Nicely done. Her auto bid is turned on. So Courtney, if you would like, you have to keep bidding until you find the top of Kathleen's auto bid because she's got it turned on. Joe has his auto bid turned on for the crystal and Rainier summer adventure. And now you only have about a minute and 20 seconds to go. And it looks like, and whoa, Andrea, has got her auto bid turned on. She really wants to be that millionaire bidder. And it looks like Andrea, somebody's trying to find the top. Mr. Phillips, you're going to have to keep going because Andrea's auto bid is turned up high. And the one, two art project is going to Kathleen. You only have one minute to go on these items in group number two. Joe, you're in great shape on that crystal and Rainier summer adventure. Nicely done. And now you've only got about 50 seconds, five zero seconds. And, and Mr. Phillips is now in the lead. Mr. Robert Phillips is in the lead. Andrea, you're going to have to bid one more time. And it looks like Kathleen, you're doing very well on that one, two art project. Project. And now, Joe, you're still in the lead. Zoe, you're going to have to keep bidding to find the top of Joe's auto bid. You only have about 30 seconds remaining in group number two. These three packages. Oh, and now Mr. Phillips, he's coming back. He's ready to be a millionaire and lucky for life. And it looks like Andrea, you're going to have to go one more time. And uh-oh, it looks like Andrea did go one more time. Andrea and Mr. Phillips are going back and forth very, very quickly. And now Kathleen, you're doing very, very nicely with the 1-2 art project. Well done. And it looks like Joe, you're sitting pretty with 
with that crystal and Rainier summer adventure. Nicely done on that one. And you only have 20 seconds remaining. Andrea, oh, that auto bid is turned up tough. Mr. Phillips, you're gonna have to keep pushing if you wanna find the top of Andrea's auto bid. And it looks like Kathleen, you're doing very, very well. Nicely done on that one two art project. You've got 15 seconds. Whoa, Joe, your auto bid is still working in overtime. Mark tried to find the top of it, but yours kicked in. And now you've only got about 10 seconds to go. Andrea and Mr. Phillips, make your final bids on that millionaire. Whoa, he did. He came back and he found the top of that auto bid. Nicely done. Andrea, it's back to you. I will tell you, you've got nine seconds remaining, which is the longest nine seconds of your life because Andrea and Mr. Phillips are um, encouraging me not to end this very fast. And now we've got Mark, you found the top of the, oh, nicely done on that Crystal and Rainier summer adventure. And Kathleen, nicely done on the one, two art project. And it looks like, whoa, Andrea found another opportunity to be a millionaire. Mr. Phillips, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to try one more time. And it looks like Kathleen, you're on the one, two art project. Nicely done. And it looks like, okay, don't worry. Um, Joe just jumped in. Mark, I'm so sorry. Joe's in the lead on that Rainier uh, adventure. You have like seven seconds to go. Still the longest seven seconds ever because while things are happening with the millionaires, Mr. Phillips and Andrea are definitely, oh my goodness, it looks like Andrea's in the lead. Mr. Phillips, I'm so sorry. But Kathleen, nicely done. And I do want to point out my earlier statement that either Mr. Phillips or Andrea, if you win, we really would like some small percentage because that would be so wonderful. But they still are going. You've got five seconds to go. Now we are going to have to close this live auction because there are more things to do. So Joe, nicely done on the Crystal and Rainier Summer Adventure. And Kathleen, you're sitting pretty with that level one, two art project. Andrea and Mr. Phillips, I'm going to encourage you to make your final bids because I'm going to count it down from five. Here we go. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and sold! <laughs> Congratulations! Very nicely, nicely done. And at the final moment, what happened with who wants to be a millionaire? Andrea, thank you, thank you, thank you. You um, successfully found the top. Kathleen, thank you for your bid on the One Two Art Project. And Mark, you are going to be having a great time at Crystal and Rainier. Very nicely done. Uh, now, our third round of group of auction items is coming up in just a moment. Uh, and it seems like this uh, auction is going fairly well. Um, so if you would like to bid on the items in group number three, which include the Whidbey Island Cabin Getaway, the Cozy Up by the Fire Package, the Level 3 uh, Camp, um, the Level 3 uh, Art Project, or the Head of School for a Day. And I will tell you, that opportunity to be Head of School for a Day is something that you do not want to miss. Uh, Mr. Turner is going to allow you to uh, be, you know, kind of his uh, right-hand person, which means you could, like, press the fire drill button once, once I believe, but at any time that you might like to do that. Or you could have a pizza party for your for yourself. I don't know if you're allowed to make it a pizza party for everyone, um, but you know, that would be really cool. So if you wanna bid on the opportunity to hang out with Mr. Turner, uh, I really, really suggest that you check that out. Um, okay, so all of those items are, are happening in just a moment, and I can see that many of you are bidding on them very, very quickly. And I um, am going to show, let's see, we're gonna do this. Uh, all right, great. The Whidbey, oh, we also, before I sell those items, if you are an eagle or a sibling, I have some important information for you. Can you check out these items right here. Anybody want to? Okay, good. Did you find them? Yes. Oh, and it is. Mr. Turner says the pizza party is for your whole class. That is a very good thing to know. Um, all right. So are you ready to go on to our third round of live auction items? Here we go. Here we go. It is the Whidbey Island Cabin Getaway, the Cozy Up by the Fire, the Level 3 Art Project, and the Head of School for a Day. Are you ready? I can see that you are. You have two minutes to go. And it looks like Whidbey is going to Stacy. Nicely done, Stacy. And now, Linda, you're in the lead on that Cozy Up by the Fire. And the, um, the Level 3 Art Project is going to Zoe. Nicely done. Lisa, this is your chance to come back and make one more bid. Amy, your student, is going to be the Head of School for a Day with Mr. Turner. Very nicely done. Now you have a minute and 45 seconds to go. Stacy has her auto bid turned on and Whidbey Island Cabin Getaway is going to Stacey. Oh, Sarah just jumped into 
the fray. The cozy up by the fire is going to Linda. You have a minute and a half to go. Nicely done. Zoe, you're still sitting pretty on that level three art project. And Amy, very nicely bid. Your student. Oh no, Bettina just jumped in above you, Amy. So now Bettina and now Amy and Bettina are going back and forth on head, head of school for a day. They both want to have their student be head of school. You have only one minute remaining on these items. The Whidbey Island Camp Getaway is going to Sarah. Stacy, if you would like to make one more bid, your auto bid's top was discovered, so you just have to reset it to a new number, but you have 45 seconds to do it. Scott, this is a great, you've got the cozy up by the fire. fire. Linda, you gotta come back, cause Scott's got your fire and your campsite won't be quite as warm. The level three art project is going to Zoe, nicely done. Linda sitting in, in great shape with the head of school for a day. Oh, Amy just came back. Head of school's going to Amy. Linda, Leah, Amy, Amy, Linda, Leah, Bettina, everybody's trying to be head of school for a day. You've got 30 seconds to go. Christopher jumps in on Whidbey Island Cabin for the getaway. Christopher is now in the lead. Sarah, you're going to have to make one more bid. You've only got 20 seconds to go. Scott, you're in great shape on the cozy up by the fire. Zoe, nicely done on that level three art project. That will look beautiful. And now Amy and Linda and Amy and, and they're going back and forth and Bettina just jumped back in. Head of school for a day. You have 20 seconds remaining. Final bids must be made. Are you ready to do it? Now, we're going to count it down. Uh, Christopher, you're doing great on the Whidbey Island, and it looks like the cozy up by the fire is going to Scott, and the Zoe, you've got the level three art project. You have 10 seconds to go. Bettina, Amy, Andrea, you've got to make your final bids. Linda, make those final bids now because we're going to count it down. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, very final opportunity to make a bid right now. Whoa, Stacy just jumped in on that Whidbey Island getaway. And Scott, you've got the cozy up by the fire. Zoe, you're doing well on that level three art project. Leah and Amy and Bettina and Amy and, and uh, Amy, you're in the lead on the head of school for a day. Uh, we're going to count down from five, four, three. Bettina, nicely done. Two, one, and so. Congratulations! <laughs> nicely, nicely done. Uh, Stacy, congratulations on the Whidbey Island Cabin getaway. Scott, you have the cozy up by the fire. Zoe, the level three art project is yours. And in the final moments, Leah, congratulations. You have the head of school for a day. And I, is that true, Mr. Turner? I am being pinged. Yes. Okay, wait. Um, Amy, Amy, I have very good news. Mr. Turner says he would do a second head of school for the day. And because, Amy, you were the second highest bidder, if you would like, we will let your student do it at your high bid, your top bid. Would you just tell us, Amy, in the chat that that sounds like a good thing for you? Yes, exactly. Plot twist. There are two. So, Amy, if that sounds good, tell us in the chat and we will make it happen for you. While that is happening, uh, we need to show a couple more camp numbers. Um, these camp numbers are right here, and you're going to want to check them out uh, because this is how you are going to win the uh, camp prize. Remember that the prize is a copy of the camping trip book by Jennifer K. Mann. And so if, um, and we do, again, I just want to thank Jennifer K. Mann um, for her generosity in supporting Hamlin, Hamlin Robinson School. And even if your family does not win this book, uh, we highly recommend that you check it out because uh, it's really actually quite a lovely book. Um, so, okay, are we ready? Does everybody have those down? Yes, they do. Now, it is time, uh, it is time to continue and talk about our next round of live auction items, which are the ultimate tailgate package, the level four art project, the level, level six art project, and the off the grid SUV package. While you are thinking about those things, we also want to remind you that so many people are sending their camp in packages uh, to us right now. Um, and please send us a selfie of your camp in right now. Remember to use the hashtag camp HRS, and then we will be able to find it on Instagram or Twitter, or 
you can put it on our Facebook page and I can see, oh, oh, I love it. They're in the tent. That's so great. That's so beautiful. Um, keep sending us those perfect, uh, those wonderful photos of, um, oh, good, great. And Amy, congr thank you so much. Um, and thank you, Mr. Turner, uh, for selling two of those um, in really great packages. Are you ready for round four? Our fourth group of live auction items. I can see that you are because people are bidding very, very well. We are gonna go on to group number four, Ultimate Tailgate, level four art project, level six art project, and the off the grid package. So here we go. You have two minutes to go in our group four round of items. And Simon has the Ultimate Tailgate package. And Elizabeth, you've got the level four art project. And Janet, you are in great shape on the level six art project. Now I'm gonna go a little bit faster because I think everybody knows how this works now. You have a minute 45 on all four of these items. And Simon, nicely done on the Ultimate Tailgate package. Kenna, you're in the lead on the, on the level four. Level six is currently going to Janet. Her auto bid is turned on. Sarah, you're gonna have to go one more time. And now it looks like Off the Grid is going to Cheryl, Mandy, your auto bid was discovered. The top was discovered. You only have about a minute and 15 to go. And it looks like the ultimate tailgate package is going to Simon. And now you've only got just about a minute and 10. Kenna, you're doing great on that level four. Level six is going to Janet, whose auto bid is turned on high. And now Mark jumped in on off the grid. Oh, Mandy just outbid Mark. Mark and Mandy and Cheryl are all going toe to toe on that off the grid. And now you've only got one minute to go on our fourth group of live auction items. The ultimate tailgate package is going to Simon. Nicely done. And Julie, you've got that level four art project. Janet, whoa, she's got her auto bid turned up. Deirdre, you're gonna have to make one more bid. Janet's got her auto bid turned on. You gotta find the top. Now you've only got 45 seconds to go. Mark is in the lead on the off the grid package. And it looks like Simon is sitting pretty with the ultimate tailgate. Eric, nicely done on level four. And it looks like Janet, you've got that level six package all locked up. Mark, you've got off the grid. Now you've got 30 seconds to go. This is an actual 30, more close to an almost a real 30 seconds. And now Simon, nicely done with the ultimate tailgate package. Eric, you've got level four for art project. Janet's auto bid is turned on for level six and Mark is sitting at the top of the off the grid. Now you've only got 20 seconds to go. Final bids need to be made right now. Simon, ultimate tailgate package is yours. Eric, you've got level four. Level six is going to Janet. Mark, you've got off the grid and now you've got 10, nine, Eight, make one final bid. You've got seven seconds to go. And it looks like Simon, you're doing well. Eric, you're doing well. Janet's got her auto bid. Mark, you're in good shape. Five, four, three, two, last bids, one, and sold. <laughs> Congratulations. I, I am impressed. You guys are counting down as a community, which is a very <laughs> tough thing to do. That is extremely impressive. Uh, Thank you so much. The ultimate tailgate package is going to uh, Simon and it looks like the level four art project, Kenna, congratulations. That is coming to your house. And Janet, you have the level six art project. Well done. And Mark, thank you so much. Uh, the off the grid package is yours. Now we do of course have our one final group of live auction items. Group number five with our final items. Uh, and I'm sure you can all see that this includes the Western Weekend. Uh, it also includes the um, A Day on Lake Union, which I can see that many people would really like to do that. Um, go figure. The Level 5 Art Project as well. Uh, and the final item, the National Parks Pioneer. And I do just want to point out, I'm sure you can see that the National Parks Pioneer has uh, miles. It has your opportunity to travel somewhere in the United States when it is, you know, the right time to do that, which we assume is going to be very, very soon and go and visit one of the incredible national parks. So if you would like one of our final uh, four live auction items, now is your chance because we are going to start it at two minutes to go. Are you ready? Two minutes remaining on our final live auction items. And Cheryl, you're doing really well on that Western weekend. And Wendy, you've got the day on Lake Union. And Allison and Mark, you've got the level five art project. And it looks like um, Rodel, you are doing very well with your auto bid turned on. Linda, you're gonna have to make one more bid because rodel has got his auto bid turned on uh, on the national parks. Now you only have about a minute 45. I know everybody knows how this is done. So make your top bids right now. Cheryl, you're doing great. Greg, you're gonna have to make one more bid. Cheryl's um, 
outbidding you. I'm so sorry. And Masha, nicely done on the Lake Union package. Allison and Mark and Ned are going back and forth on that level five art project. You only have one minute and 15 seconds to go. Here's your chance. Joe just jumped in on the National Park package. And Rodel, your the top of your auto bid was discovered. I'm so sorry. And now Greg, nicely done on the Western Weekend. Cheryl and Greg and Cheryl and Laura, you're bidding on the top of that Western Weekend at the ranch. You only have one, uh, 45 seconds remaining. Angela jumps in on a day at Lake Union. Linda and Masha and Sarah and now Angela is going to Lake Union. You've got about 30 seconds remaining to make a bid on all four of these items. Allison and Mark and Ned are very in that level five art project. It is really uh, desired by both families. Joe has got the national parks all lined up. Andrea, if you want, you're gonna have to make one more bid. Joe and Andrea are going back and forth on that national park. You have only 20 seconds remaining. Greg, nicely done. Your auto bid is working well. Cheryl, you're gonna have to keep pushing to find the top on that Western weekend. You've got 15 seconds to go. Last opportunity. Cindy, you've got Lake Union. Allison and Mark are currently in the lead on that level five art project. Ned, you're gonna have to make one more bid. You've got 10 seconds seconds to go. This is your opportunity. Only 10 seconds remaining. You've got nine, eight, seven, six. Greg, you're in the lead. Cindy, you're in the lead. Allison and Mark, you're in the lead. And now Joe, you're in the lead. You've got five, four, final opportunity, three, make your last bids, two, one, and sold. Nicely, nicely done. The final bidding goes to Greg, thank you so much for the Western weekend at the ranch. Cindy, you were successful with the day at Lake Union. Allison and Mark and Ned, oh, thank you so much, Ned, for helping Allison and Mark to really make a contribution for the Level 5 Art Project. We are so grateful. And the National Park Pioneer Package goes to Joe. Andrea, thank you for helping Joe to get that, uh, that last bid. We really appreciate all of your support. Um, there is more, uh, there's more, there's more, there's more. And right now, um, what we need to do is draw the winner of our 50-50 raffle. So uh, the 50-50 raffle, uh, many people purchase tickets and the prize for the 50-50 raffle is $2,025. Someone is about to win $2,025 and of course you get to, that's the half that you get to keep. And then Hamlin Robinson gets to keep the other half of the pot. Unless of course you decide you wanna give some other percentage of the pot. You know, you're, you're allowed to do that. It's totally up to you. Uh, so here's how this works. Very similarly, 200 50-50 raffle tickets were sold. So I have the numbers 100 all the way through 200. And I have the numbers 201 all the way through 299. And I am going to mix these numbers up. We have a spreadsheet with all of the appropriate tickets. And when I draw, we will find the person or family who will receive the $2,025. Are you ready? I can see the drum rolls are happening. I'm going to pick this number right here. 142. Who is on line 142? 142 is uh, the person who has number 604236. If you have 604236, you are the winner of our 50-50 raffle. Congratulations. Uh, while we are finding that person, I would like to um, speak to any eagles or siblings. If you are watching, uh, this is, um, are you kidding me? Is that true? Wow. Um, the winner, oh wait, so Eagles, watch this, <laughs> watch this. Uh, okay, you've got these numbers. Um, okay, great. Remember, when you, if you have, um, if you have bingo, make sure that you tell us in the chat. Uh, the winner of the 50-50 raffle is our head of school, Mr. Stacy Turner. <laughs> Stacy Turner, congratulations. Um, that is um, extremely, extremely, ex I know, right? Wait a minute. I'm telling you, you all watched me draw. Uh, that is how it goes. Um, so, uh, Mr. Turner, um, because, well, we're so, we're so great. We're so excited for you. Um, and you know, 
because we've been here in this ice cave for a moment, we thought that we should, um, uh, uh, we thought, oh, it's going into our fund to need. Mr. Turner, thank you so much. Mr. Turner is donating it. Give him a huge virtual round of applause. That is amazing, amazing. Um, Mr. Turner, we thought we should come over to Hamlin Robinson for our next camping adventure. So uh, if you could help us choose our camping adventure, we would love to either go to the Joan Beauregard Playfield or to the Wyckoff Gymnasium. Does anyone want us to go to the Beauregard Blayfield or to the Wyckoff Gymnasium? And we will move our campsite to one of those two Hamlin Robinson locations. Anybody have a strong feeling about that? Playfield, Playfield, Playfield. I'm seeing a lot of Playfield. Okay, can we go to the Joan Beauregard Playfield, which means I need this? And the Joan, oh, here we are at the Joan Beauregard Playfield. Man, it is so beautiful and sunny. Still a little bit, no, actually I'm warm because I've been playing soccer. Um, people still want to go to the beach. Okay, so let's see, can I make a goal right? Oh, uh, no, that doesn't work. Um, okay, you know what? It's, it's, um, it's actually just still a little chilly because I'm kind of warm, as you can tell. Forgive me, I'm excited about this auction. Um, could we go inside for this next part? Could we go into the Wyckoff Auditorium, uh, into the Wyckoff Gym? That would be great. Okay, oh. Here we are in the Wyckoff gym. This feels great. Uh, oh, I have to, I have to. Okay, here we go. Can I, let's see, two points. Nope, nope, not even close. <laughs> that wasn't good, okay. Um, this is the part of our evening um, where we are gonna ask you to directly support the students and staff and faculty of Hamlin Robinson School. Our fund and need is one of the most important pieces of this evening. And we have a very big goal of reaching $250,000 during this fund and need. And we also have a very important goal. We are hoping that everyone who is with us camping in tonight can make a virtual paddle raise of some amount. So as you are perhaps thinking about what amount you might be able to help with, I would like to invite back and turn it over to the one and only Mr. Turner. Hey, thank you, Ian. Along with our mission and our vision, Hamlin Robinson School really holds close to our core values, respect, responsibility, purpose, and perseverance. And it is this fourth core, core value, perseverance, that really seems relevant to this past year. When we think back over these past 12 months we have, that we've experienced, we have learned whether we wanted to or not, how to persevere. Our community has demonstrated great resiliency. We have adapted and we have overcome. The commitment to our mission, the incredible teachers, and the students who motivate us every day contribute to the life-changing experience that is Hamlin Robinson School. And with that said, I want to acknowledge and I want to give my respect and recognize the selfless investment that all our parents have made in making sure of the best possible educational outcomes for their children, especially this past year. I cannot honor you enough for everything that you have done. And I also want to celebrate the incredible community of supporters that help ensure our program remains strong and the future of Hamlin Robinson School remains solid. These past 12 months have dramatically accelerated the implementation of the technology program at Hamlin Robinson School. And this year's fund to need will support the essential technology needs as the school continues to learn and explore the incredible ways that technology will impact the lives of our students as we prepare them to confidently interact with their futures. In addition, a quarter of all the proceeds that we raise tonight in fund a need will support our financial aid endowment. We each have our personal story of what brought us to Hamlin Robinson School. 
and the contributions to Fund a Need this evening will help create access to those families that are in need far into the future. So a sincere thank you to all of you for your generous support. Now I know you have seen the s'mores video that we have made and our s'more is not yet complete, but it looks pretty dang good. So what I wanna do is I wanna top off this s'more and I wanna finish it. And this top graham cracker, that's you. That is all of you, that is our parents, that is our supporters, that is our community. Without you, our s'more would not be complete and the experience of our students at Hamlin Robinson School would not look this delicious. Thank you everybody for your unwavering support of Hamlin Robinson School and our students. Hey Ian, is it okay if I take a bite? Absolutely. That's really good. Thank you. Technology is something that over the past 12 months, we have really seen the power and the inspiration that it can provide for our students. Your support tonight is going to prepare your child for tomorrow. We often hear that schools today are preparing our children for jobs that have not yet been invented. And when we look at everything that has happened, we see how that becomes so crucially important in the education that we deliver for our students on a daily basis. What we are learning this year is how important technology is, how we connect as people, and what we can do to better our country and our world and our society. First of all, I think technology has changed because of COVID and we have to do like technology to do school in the mornings and stuff like that. But also I think now it's a lot different because we depend on it a lot more. I mean, we really relied on technology for the content creation of lessons as well too, since we couldn't just use paper packets at this point anymore. We had to really reframe how we were delivering our entire program and imagine it through the lens of technology. I like just learning about typing and like getting better at it. I know what I'm doing instead of this. I know what I'm doing. I, I know what I'm doing. I actually like to actually know what I'm doing instead of pretending that I know what I'm doing. The one-on-one -on -one program for the middle school means that we are able to provide each of our students with a Microsoft Surface. Technology that the school has provided for us it makes getting to class every day online really easy, fast, and straightforward. To have my own account and to be able to do my own things with my computer is very helpful. We knew that we wanted to provide tools and resources for the things that your students need in their classroom. Part of that was a new social emotional curriculum that we've implemented at all grade levels this year. One of the things that we've had Mr. Howden, our new school counselor, do this year is meet with every grade. He talks about um, our themes of community and um, relating to each other and really providing a grounding midweek experience for our students. I would love to see you know, items going towards more creative pursuits and playful pursuits with technology. You know, we have the computers, we have the foundation now, but I would like to see what can we do with it. Um, you know, whether it's cameras, whether it's podcasting booths, whether it's um, any kind of video production equipment. There's this thing called Scratch where you can code like either games or like animations and stuff. And I do that with some of my friends. Uh, I also like to do digital art where I take a picture and I might do like other colors of it. Well, I messed around with Google's developer tools. That was fun. Clubs and extracurriculars can be a chance for students to flex their creativity and really show how intelligent they are. I picked up a few instruments uh, throughout my life, but they, ne never, they never really stuck. Uh, they weren't really for me until we kind of went to quarantine where I got access to the device and I tried out doing digital music production. These are all the sprites that I used in my game, which is 
a lot and I'm probably going to add more actually. Well, digital art is kind of like really fun because like you can really just be creative. Sometimes I make animations and one time I've tried to make like a boss fight. If the game's not working that I want, then he, I can use coding to help try and figure out the problem. I have used a lot of digital audio workstations, which are basically what every artist uses to compose all their music, like adding a guitar, a bass, a vocal, uh, drums, all into one software and mix, kind of mixing it together, uh, digitally producing everything to make finished pieces of music. Thundani provides Hamlin Robinson School with the opportunity to really deliver on that educational program for your children. Something that I wish we had was more cameras and more digital art things. I think stylists for the computers only because they're fun for like art projects, but they can also help you with like writing on the computer and they can actually help you edit with stuff. So those would be actually kind of great to have. I think what we've noticed is with, with more technology in the classroom, that it actually unlocks some things in some students. And then we saw some different kinds of creativity and some different ideas be possible because we had those tools in place. We now realize that there's some things that we don't want to say goodbye to, that we actually need to enhance. The fun to need is my favorite part of the auction. When we think about how can we make an impact on our world, being able to support our students and our children is fun. So thank you for joining us in this. A quarter of all the money raised tonight in our fun to need will go to support our financial aid endowment. Thank you for your generous support. Thank you for helping provide our faculty with the resources needed to take their individual and collective teaching goals to the next level. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. What an, it's so inspiring um, to see uh, all of those incredible images. And, and I can see so many people are so um, excited to be supporting Hamlin Robinson School. Now, I know many of you have been giving generously during that video, but if you are still thinking about a number, we want to just mention that there are um, some numbers that you might consider. So you could consider maybe 10,000 or 5,000 or 2,500 or a thousand or 500 or 250 or 100 or of course if you want to just give any amount you know you could give some more whatever whatever I sorry I had to I had to weave that in um, in our thermometer there are so many donors who have been being incredibly generous thank you thank you so so very very much we are well on the way to our goal of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and we are really hoping okay, wait, wait just a minute ian i just want to make sure that everyone has heard about the incredible match that we have for our fund to need this evening mr turner thank you yes i need to tell people about that um so here is the match um that mr turner thank you for reminding me uh, this evening, we have an anonymous match willing to match all gifts of $1,000 or more up to $50,000. So if you can help us with a gift of $1,000 or more right now, those will be matched dollar for dollar. So Kristen, thank you. Your match, your gift just got doubled and helps us. And Elizabeth, thank you so much. We are so, so grateful. We would love if you would consider making a gift. Leslie, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are helping, we're at $163,000. And any gifts of $1,000 or more will be doubled um, up to $50,000. So if anybody could help us with gifts of $1,000 or more right now. Yes, Matthew, thank you so much. That becomes $2,000. We are so, so grateful. And Ryan, thank you so much. We would love to take advantage of this full match. Oh my gosh, Allison and Mark, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, that 
really helps because that will be doubled um, be, because of our anonymous matcher. Bettina, thank you so much. We're at $168,000. Um, Jessica, thank you all. Oh, Jessica, thank you so much. Our, our head of our lower school, we're so grateful. Um, and uh, Joe, thank you so much. If anyone else, um, Deanna, thank you. We would love to make it all the way to our goal of $250,000. Susan, thank you. Your, match, your gift will be matched. Um, all of these are being matched. We're so, so grateful at $171,000. We would love to, Samantha, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're so grateful. That gift will be matched. And Angela, thank you so much. We're so grateful at $172,000. And Ned, thank you so much. All of these gifts, $1,000 or more. I do just want to, um, of course, point out that you are allowed to give more than one time. So if right now you're thinking, oh, I didn't know about the match, uh, but now that changes. Like Mark, thank you so much. Um, you can make another gift of $1,000 or more right now and it will be matched all the way up to that $50,000 match. Mary, thank you. We're so, so grateful um, to everyone who is watching us right now. Um, we are really grateful. Steven, thank you so much. Um, now, okay, so much generosity is happening and Amy, thank you, but we do have to show just a couple more numbers because we haven't had a bingo yet. So eagles and siblings, here are two more numbers, A15 and M22. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten. And remember that if you have a bingo, we need you to put it into the chat so we can find out who is going to win the book, the camping trip book. Amy, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are almost at $175,000, well on the way. If anyone has bingo, make please let us know. Um, while you are doing that, um, I do want uh, to, to just, oh, I have to thank Gwen. Thank you so much. And Alana, thank you so much. We would love, love to see if we can, maybe we can make it um, all the way to $200,000 right now. Amy, thank you. On the way to $250,000, um, we would be so, so grateful to all of you. We are, we could not, we cannot thank you enough. Um, okay, oh, Richard, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, keep going. Okay, well, I know, we're, we're, I'm, I'm just here um, wanting to thank Amy anybody. Marina, thank you. That will be matched. That gift will be matched. Oh, we are only $300 away from $175,000 in our raise the paddle, in our fund to need. If anyone wants to help us get over the, 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 that 175 mark, this would be an opportunity. Leah, thank you. You did it. We're at $175,000. We are so, Ellie, thank you. And it's okay. You can keep um, you can keep helping us. It's totally fine. We would love to make it all the way to that 200. We, oh, we achieved our $50,000 match. We achieved our $50,000 match, which means we can put $50,000 more into, there it is, $225,000. We are under $25,000 away from our goal. If anyone could help us uh, right now to make it to $250,000, we would be so, so grateful. We're, we're within, we, we can, we're, we're almost there. I don't know if anybody right now wants to like just put in, you know, uh, twenty four thousand four three hundred and eighty dollars or something. Then it would just we would be at two hundred and fifty thousand. That would just take us all the way. I mean, I'm doing some really bad math. I bet there are some accountants out there who can do it better than I can. Simon, thank you, thank you for continuing to help us. Um, if there's anyone else who can help us, we would we would love it. We would be so so grateful. Uh, so Melissa, thank you, thank you. We're almost at two hundred and twenty six thousand dollars. Cheryl, another thousand dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're so grateful that we are so we're at 226, which means we are only, uh, you know, $23,000 away from our goal of 250. So anybody who wants to help us, we will take it. We would be so grateful. Um, and yes, we can get there. I think we could do it. Okay. While that is happening, I do just want to remind people about our silent auction. So, um, our silent auction is still open and it will be open until tomorrow at noon. March 21st at noon. So if you are working on any silent auction items, please don't forget. Um, also, um, 
The glassy babies, I believe there are just a couple rem remaining. Uh, so if you can find a glassy baby, uh, buy one right now. And Marianne, thank you so much. Alana, thank you. We're at $231,000. Thank you. Oh, Scott, thank you so much. Okay, wait, we need to give one more camp number. Can we give one more camp number? Aaron, thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, is there one? I think there's one more camp number. Amy, thank you. We're at 231. We are so close. We're only $19,000 away. Heather, thank you so much for helping us. Um, oh, okay, wait. I'm going to say a number out loud um, because I think M18. M18. I need to say M18 because maybe we don't have a, a slide for that one. D uh, okay, if you are an eagle or if you are a sibling, M18. You can mark M18. I'm supposed to tell people that. Uh, that's great. Okay. Uh, another big, oh, and it's happening in the chat as well. That's good. The other thing I want to tell you about this fund to need is that we are going to keep our fund to need open. Our fund to need will stay open until next Sunday, March 28th. And if you know anyone who might be able to support Hamlin Robinson School, family or friends who weren't here with us this evening, please send them the link and invite them to support this community. Um, we, we are definitely, we're so close to our goal of $250,000. Um, and uh, with, with everyone's help over these coming days, we will... We are sure to get there. So please invite people to do that. Um, and M19, whoa, bingo. Do we have bingo? No, M18. No, no, no. It was M18, not M19. Megan, I'm sorry. We Do we have a winner? Does anybody have bingo? Uh, we're looking for a bingo winner. Um, somebody's going to win. I know they are. The, the other thing um, that we want um, is to tell people that if you were playing our game, Maybe you were shown, you found this little packet that says, wait to open. Okay, now is the time to open the packet. Um, now is the time to uh, open the packet and you, everyone who played our camp, camp game is a winner. Those are prizes for everyone. Oh, and we just got a text message. The Archambault family, the Archambault family won our, uh, won, they have bingo, but they didn't put it into the chat. Okay, wait, somebody, yes, Betsy, I see you, see you. Okay, bingo, bingo. You get the camping book, congratulations. <laughs> um, I think that's, is that true? Yes, okay, something's happening. No, okay, we'll work that out. I think a bingo happened, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy, if I'm wrong, then that's okay. We'll, um, we will, uh, we'll work, you know what? We're going to have a recording of this entire event and we will be able to go back <laughs> and unwind what just happened. I got an, I got a note. Okay. Please take some final pictures and show them to us, um, on our, um, our hashtag camp HRS. We want to see how your camp in ends this evening. Also, I would love to just remind, yes, oh, it's so great to see all of you. Thank you for being here. Um, and, uh, and before we go, before we go, I want to just encourage you to please stay connected with HRS. Um, you can like and follow us um, at, um, on, uh, on social media. Please read the Scoop newsletter. Also, if you work for a company that supports your um, contributions, please submit the paperwork for that corporate match because those dollars are so valuable. We are at 235, almost 235,000. Uh, we're so close. Um, and uh, before we go, um, I do want to say that um, it has been such an honor and a privilege. Thank you all for coming. And there are some Hamlin Robinson staff who have a very special message for all of you. Have a wonderful night and good night. Thank you for the privilege of your generosity and support. Together, we will achieve our goal of providing a world-class educational program to students with dyslexia and other language-based learning differences. For all you give. For all you do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From us to you. With our gratitude.